so welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today, we're gonna be playing with eyeliner again. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Paolian family. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button right down below and like this video if you like it. But right now, we're back to looking like that panda with no circles around his eyes. <laughs> but that is because we're gonna be playing with eyeliner. And if you've been on Instagram for the past couple of days, you probably have seen the picture going around of people doing their eyeliner with bobby pins. Now, I have to say, doing eyeliner is not my strongest for it in makeup. It takes me forever to do my eyeliner, but I'm always looking for ways to just make it a little quicker so that I can do my eyeliner in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> so while I was browsing around Instagram, I saw this girl doing her eyeliner with a bobby pin. And you know, that's actually kind of genius because the bobby pin has like the wing shaped on it, which is really, really nice. I was like, okay, I need to try that. I need to record this. Does it work? Because if it works, my life will be complete. So I guess what you do is you get a bobby pin and you use that part right here as a stamp and you stamp it in your eye and you have the perfect wing without having to struggle with a felt tip or with a liquid liner or with a gel and a brush. It's supposed to be pretty much super easy and you just fill it in with the liner after you stamp this at the end of your eye to create the wing. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little closer so that you guys can see what I'm doing and we're gonna do our eyeliner with a bobby pin okay guys so we are very close like very up close and my whole eye makeup is done except for eyeliner and mascara and I have like two types of bobby pins I have like these ones that are like really big and they have like this here but this is pretty thick so I don't know how I'm gonna like that and then there's also these little tiny bobby pins that I'm pretty sure are the ones that most people have. I think I'm gonna go with this one because this is a little smaller. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our NYC Buck Liquid Liner and we're gonna open it up. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. You know, I really hope this doesn't ruin my whole eye makeup because it's actually a really good makeup day and if you ruin my makeup, well, I can't really do anything. I'm just gonna have to take it off, but. Okay, so we have our eyeliner. So we're just gonna coat one side of the bobby pin. Like that. So that whole side of the bobby pin is coated with black. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this eye first so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I hope this works, guys. So I'm gonna place this usually where I put my wing. Oh no, we're stamping it. That's not a wing. That looks horrible. Okay, so I'm coating this again with another coat of black liner. So now that the first attempt was a bust, I'm just gonna go over it again to see if this time it works. I hate this, but I can see kind of where they're going with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fix this with my normal felt tip liner and I'm gonna come back with this eye and see if I can make it work. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, so it took me literally like 45 years to get this wing like this and it's still kind of thick and very dramatic. So I really hope I can make it work for this eye because for the other eye, it was a struggle. But this time, now that I know like kind of where to put the bobby pin and all that stuff, I think it will be a little easier. Bobby pin is coated. Okay, I kind of see where they're going with this idea kind of oh, yeah You get a stamp for your wing, but at the same time That's not sharp enough So you still have to go back in with your liner like I did on this side and you have to pretty much draw the wing again I don't know I kind of prefer just going in with my winged eyeliner just free drawing it because free handing an eyeliner wing is way easier than fixing this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to match this eye with my tartariest liner to this eye and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, so these are my wings done. As you can tell, I had to clean this up with concealer and it kind of moved around my foundation. So that was kind of the downside of doing this with a bobby pin. So if you're gonna do your eyeliner with a bobby pin, do your face last and your eyes first so that this patchiness doesn't happen here and here. I actually had to fix all my eyeliner with my felt tip eyeliner. So pretty much the bobby pin didn't do anything besides making my life harder. But you know, if you want to see how I do an actual wing and my techniques on doing them, I will leave a tap at the top of the screen because I do have a video tutorial on that. But I don't think a bobby pin will be going into my routine anytime soon. Okay guys, so I finished off my mascara and I'm just going to give you guys my final thoughts on doing your eyeliner with a bobby pin. So as you can pretty much tell, 
tell I'm not a very big fan of doing my eyeliner with a bobby pin I don't know I just felt like it took me forever to clean up my winged eyeliner after doing it with this and it's mostly because the bobby pin is not very sharp when it gets to the end of the wing overall it was something really fun to try and you guys should definitely try it out and see if you like it because I've seen so many eyeliner hack videos it's ridiculous there's so much stuff out there there's like Floss. There is bobby pins now and then you can also put tape. But I don't know on Instagram I've seen people doing their makeup with a taco. It's like it's it gets to a point where it is just too much And I'm just like I would much rather just grab my eyeliner and freehand my wing I'm kind of disappointed because I've been looking for ways to make my eyeliner life easier And I thought this was gonna be the one because it actually made sense and I saw the video and it was like perfect But when I try it out no, but you guys this bobby pin is to bust. Well, you guys, that is it for this video. It was more of like a shorter one, kind of something fun to do. Um, I've done a lot of tutorials and reviews, but like I really want to do some challenges, like the no mirror makeup challenge or doing my makeup with the opposite hand and all the seraphone stuff because I've always seen those and they look so fun and I haven't tried them out yet. Yeah, I also like to try new hacks. So if you have any other hacks that you would like me to try, leave them on a comment down below because I love reading comments. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you had fun. Hit the thumbs up button and if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave because I will have a giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers and yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video bye guys